Welcome to the East End of London. Not very bikers, but very real. Up front, in your face, lively. There's a guy going down there, you know, a very special game of poker. It's private, very private. No room for muppets. Now, we've seen these places winning world championships, test matches and gold medals. But can they cope with real pressure when there's notes in front of them? And cards in their hands. This will sort out of the men from the boys. Spontoon is on the table. I'm talking ladies. And one of them gets the lot. This is poker how it's meant to be like. This is the real good. Welcome to the PartyPoker.net Sports Stars Challenge. Six sporting worlds head onto the poker table for the prestige of being the best poker player in their sport. The table winner from each field will meet on the final table for a top prize of 20 grand. Tonight, it's a new playing surface for the rugby boys. They'll be looking to convert their hands into cash and try every trick in the book to take the money off their teammates. Of course, there's money at stake, but I have a feeling the bragging rights are more valuable here. Let's see who'll be round the table. This Gloucester fly is one for the future. Already capped by England, he'll be rocking and mourning all over this one. In seat six, it's James Simbad Simpson Daniel. They call him the eel because he's as slippery as they come with a deck of cards. This Watson England fullback is sure to be electric across the field. Seat five, Tom the ill voice. 51 caps for England and two Lions tours. This geezer knows how to get stuck in. He's a little pocket rocket. In seat four, Austin Oz Healy. Into the poker den, Matt Dawes Dawson. He's done it all in the world of rugby, picking up the World Cup, winning the British Lions tour and taking the Premiership title with Wasps. But has he got the balls for poker? This bloke's a regular little card shark. Don't let the posh voice fool you. He's right at home in this East End spieler. In seat two, it's Chris Royale Sheesby. This boy looks like he belongs in the poker den. Played in the British Poker Open last year. He's used to mixing it up with the poker big boys. Should play through this one. In seat one, Mike Tindall. There's been the odd drop goal in the dying seconds of a Rugby World Cup final. But bluffing with rags is what pressure's all about. Rugby lads play a hard game. This one will be tough. Two World Cup winners, more than 150 England caps. These six okay. men can certainly Five, take ten, the pressure, but will their friendships and nerves survive the poker deck? Some of the six know each other's game well. <laughs> work against them. Prepare for banter, barracking and bluff as we crown. Rugby's poker punter par excellence. And all of them start with a thousand pounds. The winner takes the pot, some six grand. And we'll go forward to represent rugby at the final table with a chance to win another 20,000. I hate Testing his critical eye over things with me. I'll raise. Poker raise. aficionado, raise. Steve Davis. Yeah, nice <laughs> Hello, and uh, <laughs> I'm interested to see these lads who, who play quite a lot, total. apparently, um, uh, when they're away on tour and uh, <laughs> know each other's games quite well. Why are we doing this? You've got to pick up any reason each other. to banter around the team. You can bully him all day long. Here we go. Still a big mind. Have a look for the sign. Mike Tindall was giving us the lowdown <coughs> on how each of the other five play, mm -hmm. what their tells are, whether they're you me, buddy. loose or tight. It'll be interesting to see oh. whether that pays Queen. off. Now the first hand pair check. of queens coming down on the flop. Check. All checked. Just about with. Austin Healy has a Roll chance Austin. here and has <laughs> <laughs> check. Oh, don't be stupid. I'll go um, 50. 50. Pass. Well, trying to get involved early on. Tom Voice passes. It's just down to Austin. He's bluffing. Chris Sheesby. <coughs> Jesus, it is. on his queen. He hasn't really got anything. <laughs> Although he got slightly be. more than Austin Healy, but it was oh, Austin Healy oh, was first oh, effect. And even though it looked Easy a bit of a scary ball, Austin, Healy. well, Austin Healy's off the go mark. On. I'd go uh, to 4-2. It's a friendly game. <laughs> Shady's played a bit. Looking on the TV. Apparently, won a few tournaments. 
Maybe we'll just relax on a bit more fun, please. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. I didn't hear your banter until you won. <laughs> you weren't bantering that, were you? You said it's to not me really you a go quiet table all table in. Did you go? No, you already been established. Your balls fell off. Yeah. So you stop doing that. The Don't think you're slightly possessed. <laughs> Matt Dawson, who has been like 20. <laughs> Action on <laughs> Austin Healy. Got to be with some of these players. <laughs> I'll limp in. I'll call. There you oh, go. The old limper. Oh. <laughs> 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 uh, I don't know. That didn't make any difference, did it? Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, do stop trying to see the reflection of my cards. I'm blowing them so it slides. <laughs> 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 I think it's just going to be the body language that Pass. is going to Raise. involve bluffing. Raise. I think there's going to be verbal bluffing and all sorts. Called <laughs> a nice hand ace king. Uh, 60. 60 total. Pass. Serious. First raise of the day. Austin Chess, if they've changed. I'll call. Call. Predicted by Mike 40, Tindall to be another 40. Another loose cannon. <laughs> It's a very optimistic call against a raise with King Nine. He doesn't really know how bad the situation he's in. Two Jack two. And it's two. Oh. hundred. One hundred. He's got See, she's, I don't think you've got anything there, Jack. <laughs> Really, do not go in that position. Chris, he knows it as well. Really, he's going to win seven out of eight hands from this position. Like your stone face. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go to Austin level. <laughs> no, no, we're no, going no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> to my level. You're going to have to increase your IQ <laughs> by the camera. Um, I think you've got an ace she's. Have you? Probably not. <laughs> Is that enough? Yeah. But well, he's ready and right. I've just got a little squeaky lady here. Yeah, the next should, phase yeah. would be yeah, to yeah, raise, yeah. but. Flam wild. Take a brave man. Right then. Go on. I'll call. 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 I think he's been talked into this. Oh, the salmon. <laughs> they were always coming back. He's in a good position now to take the pot away. Call Oh, it's not exactly what he wants to do. It's going to be a. It's going to take something special to do it. It's got to be a raise. He's not going to do it by keeping calling. Such a wrong better. God. Good, that she. <laughs> this is serious money in the second pot. That's over a third. I suppose you could say I'm pot committed now, couldn't you? <laughs> She's been stat going in. How would she win the first one? Well, strictly speaking, you have to keep the money. <laughs> <laughs> it could be worse for us if you'd seen a king. I still think you're bluffing, but that's yeah, good. Have waded in, and that is uh, a good well, stack in the end. Although it has cost him a few pounds That's to get right. that. Show off! Oh. You had absolutely the big shot. Slick. You had absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> but if you did what was the next card? Advantage she's been. Oh, oh, two hands. No, oh, you're, you're, rabbit you're definitely possessed. <laughs> <laughs> These guys are used to playing cards with each other on tour, but with serious cash on the table, there's intent behind those smiles. What do they really think of each other? And who do they want to be? We've got quite a few loose cannons. Matt Dawson is nicknamed the River. Um, we've nicknamed him the River because we, whenever we play in, uh, in the England setup, he'll stay in all the way to the end and catch the River card that'll make him a straight most times. Um, so he'll, you never know what he's got. Austin is a loose cannon as well. We'll play any hand. Uh, we'll bluff a lot. We'll talk a lot at the table, try and bluff everyone else out. I think the one to watch in the group is probably Mike Tyndall. He's obviously won quite a few tournaments. Uh, he plays a lot. Um, he hasn't really got a face for TV, but uh, I'm sure he'll do well in terms of his cards. I I'd like to see Dawes go out first with some kind of uh, inept in intelligence. Um, that would really please me. Need I answer that question? Need I? Because I'm sure he said that he wants to beat me. Austin. Are we allowed, to, out, are we allowed to call, King, but say, oh, can we have a look, see what the river is or not? You said it. <clears throat> no. If, if, if if enough enough said, if enough said. I'll, I'll, I'll let it go. I'll let you see. Cheers, Mad Mick. That's <laughs> good. <laughs> 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 I'm, I'm massive. So okay, big that I'm going to put it in there. Pass. 
Faz. <coughs> James has a reputation for being a very tight family. player, and we've certainly seen that so far. Although he's not had a lot to yeah. deal with, three hands. Hand. Two pounds all in. Okay. Well, she usually only plays oh, when he's oh, got the initiative. Oh, sorry, man. I thought you throw them in. Just throw them in. Just Mate, you. I'll take your pardon. Saves you a bit of cash there. Once it crosses the line, Pass. you're dead. Is that, is that so bad, isn't it? Or raise. Raise. Go on, Dawes. 20 more, 40 total. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a bitch. Raising from the small blind. Oh, cool. here we go. This is cool. the battle we wanted to see. I like this. Yeah. This so is where we can sit back. Come on, on the River Dawson. Dawson. They're both the same suit. Win. Oh, yeah. yeah, on the, the Dawson. <laughs> oh, that's a nice hand. That's a nice hand, Dawson. So Austin's hit the 10. Options Check. everywhere. Check. Both checked. <clears throat> Breaks are on, and bottom pair also checks. Three. You got three. <laughs> <laughs> Are you honestly going to have them in your ear all <coughs> evening? Um, Don't go silly. No, we're all friends here. Well, to a certain <laughs> <point>. <laughs> You see. We can be, because we're out. Those two know each other so Looking well. 12 years, outside. England teammates. He's down a bit. I'll go he 30 brought up yours. just down the road from each other. 30. With us. Plenty of conjecture that one of those two would be the first out, eliminated by the other. They were getting involved in a battle of wills early on. Here comes the Dawson. Oh, oh he's done it. He's done the Dawson. Oh, he needs that Someone have a kick. Tennis Matt is delighted. <laughs> he's out. He hit to the run. Be an honour to see. You're thinking about going all in, aren't you? <laughs> You're all thinking about it. Three spades. It. it was a quick call from <laughs> Austin Healy. Having two of the same suit at the start. Oh, he is. I'm happy to just turn it's him over just and not see what we've got. Check it in. Is it on doors? Check it. I'll go Sorry, Matt, 50. Dawson. 50. Ah, oh, Dawson, that's a nice bet. Small, encouraging a call. If I stack, will you tell me what you add? <laughs> <laughs> there are more conditions. Um, if you stack, I'll show you one card. And you can you choose can it. it. Is it I like, like that call, I like that call. That's a great call. I like that. That's a great call. Is it higher than a 10? That's all the information you get. Depends which card you turn over. Ah, oh, damn. I've come this far, I'll call. Call. <laughs> cool. And you have you got? Well, it could have been worse for Austin. There he oh, is. you beauty. He has been hit, though, by that. Straight. 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 Do I need, like, Flush. two spades to beat you? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, Good so, luck yeah. till you've shone. Straight well done, Dawes. Nice little uh, belt. Great handles. Great handles. Finds himself six out of six. He wouldn't have shown me his car and I wanted Thank to see it. The intelligence we got from Mike Tyndall has hey. proved well, the spot on so far. <laughs> and you got it. Yeah. And I took. Let's have a look at the ranking of the hands. At the bottom of the ranking is the high card only. Higher than that is one pair, then two pairs. Then three of a kind, also known as a set. Next up, a straight. That's five cards in a row of any suit. Better than this is a flush. Five cards of the same suit in any order. A full house is three of a kind plus a pair. Four of a kind, of course, is self-explanatory. Looking for that straight flush through is five cards in a row, all of the same suit. And a royal flush is top of the pops. A straight flush, ace high. Oh, well, they built the stadium go, over it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit inconsiderate, isn't it? Yeah. I think they were in it while they were playing. It was a really big game. Mm -hmm. The smell was. Uh. <coughs> Rubbish there from Matt Dawson. But I bet he plays it. He wants to play, he wants to be involved. Come on, she's. Nope. No. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a snore? That was, that was actually annoying. That was annoying. There was a little piggy in here. That's definitely annoying. He has the reputation of being a loose player. I can't believe he just did that. That's like some of your old man How will he be able to exploit this situation? That's a make-up man. Pocket aces. What's wrong with your dad? No, we should I'll raise to 60. Raise to 60 total. 
And Tom, with pocket cool. twos, is... Cool. Pass. Have a cool. Pass. Take it back. Sneak it back. Oh, Chris Sheesby's got well. uh, the worst of it in one. Well, he's got one ace and one two. Just little does he know how many of his cards are actually out. And it doesn't help voice much that uh, a two's gone as well. So Austin Healy's looking in superb condition to be able to withstand a two player uh, against him here. What type of cards could come that could hurt him? Five, eight, five, Very eight. little. Now Trouble Tom. is getting paid off. Check. Uh, that might not be too bad for him. Because Tom's got two pairs. 150. It's just whether he believes Austin Healy has two high cards <laughs> or a large pair. Bullet, bullet. Bullet, bullet. Think back into a 120 quid pot, hasn't it? Bullet, bullet. <laughs> And if he calls with this, you must know, it's a suicidal call in some ways because five eight, not with he might be able to talk himself into you calling all the way down the line. <laughs> <laughs> the best small. Yeah, well, stay in there. Two four. I'll just check all that. Looks like he's going to hit his way back into this event. Tom Boyce could end up very low. And put a commit. Four. Another low card. Oh, very much the size of the order of the day of the last. You got an eight. Bet. <laughs> Oh. Don't, don't oh. do that. Oh, you could have had much more of him, but perhaps you're going to get the sure. trade, mate. It's like it's too early. <laughs> it's hard. Don't do that. It's hard. Boys did have a five. Quite hard. I've seen things. Oh my god. Make so your yeah. mind up. I'm just going to do this. Must do it. Is that an all-in? It's over the line, baby. That is yeah. Oh, is that that is if it's over the line. It's oh, over the line. No coming back. It's value. It's value. Oh, cool. Oh, oh it's value. It's value. Oh, yeah. it's value. Tom, I'm the same voice Tom's voice. Cool. Yeah. Now he's not going to be out if he loses yeah. because no. He came into this now two hundred and ten quid more than Austin, but he's going to be in no state oh, at all way, unless a two comes down. One remaining two in the pack. Three, four, it's value, it's value, four, four, it's value. Four, two of hearts is about to become Go his favourite card if he can pull it here. Oh, 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 oh my pretty, pretty. Shoes, yeah. Needs to hit a two. I ain't gonna hit a two of them. I told you I was big. Needs to hit, but We had a deal, we don't need to put it in Needs a two. Come on, pretty two. two. Uh, Chris had the two of diamonds, yeah. two of hearts, yeah. it was far yeah. too yeah. tall yeah. in order. 441, two. And Tom Voice 20, 40, is in 60, real 80, trouble. 100, After three. Seven 20, hands. 40, 60, 80, 100. So Austin, unsurprisingly, is the cash leader. The fact that he hasn't got much of a lead is because he was six out of six prior to that hand. Look at the bet frequency. Austin has played five out of the seven hands so far. Tom. The only player yet to win a hand, 210 quid, and he'll be home long before closing time. I'm not kind of the guy that likes to stay around for a while, so I normally all in, all out, so um, I don't know if that will bode well for me today. It could never be said that the rugby guys are shy in retiring round the poker table. The action's been fast and furious, with Austin Healy hitting Tom Voice where it hurts with pocket rockets. Anything could happen round this table. Up to the second level, and the blinds move okay, up to 20 40 pounds and 40 mm. pounds for the big blind. Pass. Standard. Standard. Fence over there. Pass. Oh, Matt's got a playable hand. Call. Call. Uh, I'll call. Call. I'll go all in. Going all in. Woo! Yeah, Tom short oh, stacked. What is it for? Good work, That's mate. why Stole he's gone all in. That was uh, the only enough. invitation Stole he needed, really. Yeah, 190 day. quid. How much is there? Okay. A pair of six is enough for him to. Take his place yeah. in the tournament on. 
not a bad spot to go in. We'd like to get it down to a heads up rather than both of okay, those calling in. Puck the method on what they've got. Dawson so right, maybe talking to calling or Tell they us. can only be at best probably. Oh. You're already in 40. You're already in 40. Well, it's just 150 to you. Well, you can raise if you try and blow me out of the water. Got a chance. Cheers, Dawson. I would imagine with 7-4 that Austin Healy would fold, but... Massively. Can I show my card? No. I'll start. Okay, gentlemen, turn around. We've got a pair of sixes. Just level up them. Poor Tom, who's marching on the table. I'm clean king for a match. Oh, God, it didn't go. I've got a potential of. I don't reckon. Keep him in the game. Tommy's been a lucky hit. Yeah, true. Just a little bit longer. Not much of a dog. Rory could be out after 11 hands. Dorsey's a dog. That's a good start for him. No help from Max. Watch out for that river. Oh, the, Matt the river. Matt, 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 Matt Dawson knows the river because he gets the river. Look at that. Come on, get the fingers. Oh, that's a good one. 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 Oh, that's a Board and start to set in. With Austin, who's <laughs> left-hand side, the loosest player around the table, the most unpredictable player around the table. Would he rather have him there? Would he rather have him Pass. the other side of him? It, it's hard to say. I mean, the, back sort back of, it seems like a lot of things are going to go through yeah. the likes of the, uh, Austin right. Healy oh. in his hand. He's, even though he's not necessarily perhaps the best card player around the table, he's going to have he's going to be involved in so much. It's all going to be channeling through him to some degree. Raises one hundred one forty in total. Six players around the table. You're all interacting to some degree. But you've got a few tight players all bunched up, and then the looser players in one area as well. Oh, so cool. one forty four. It depends how many of the loose players get busy. Pass. Pass. A little vein in the side of your head Pass. here. Yeah. I always come up. You've not noticed that before? I have, yeah. I only called it, though. It's as big as the one that goes down the middle of Austin's forehead there. I think it was going to say something else. Austin and Tom got rid of it. You'd be right. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, that's Sweet what they had. Man. <laughs> Family show. <coughs> Excuse me. 340 Eight, in the seven, pot. Nine. Oh, stop. Wow, <laughs> that is Check. a very Check. interesting <laughs> Chris has got his pair of sevens, That's but spot. Matt has That's got 100. 100 pairs. Up and down shots on the straight. Or oh, she's check raising. Jack or a six, or obviously a ten. It's a very good result cool. for him. 100 cold. He's in front as he, as he speaks, and uh, oh, Chris Sheesby's in trouble once again, potentially. Oh. Eight. Worst trouble if he's witty. Check. Check. Really. And check. More check. The brakes come on there for Dawson. That's a bit of a surprise. <laughs> oh, fine. She's setting him up for this bet that is coming now. How big's it going to be? How much damage is he going to do? Stop now if you're happy. There's more damage going out. It's 250. 250. Wow, looks as though he's reeled him in. We like to talk when they're in like this. Yeah. Obviously, it's going to be slightly low to six. Okay. <laughs> Bark like a big dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. What a way to throw this away, isn't it? I don't think so, surely. Obviously, you must be wary of an eight or a six, but I think he should call he's more or less obligated to call. <laughs> Austin Healy thinks so. Um, At the very least, to call. King six. Well, he's talking himself into a Nothing. six. I know, I know exactly what she's got. 
Can you see it? No, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'll call you, Shays. Yeah, yes. Yeah, it's a good lad. It's a good 150 call. cord. Okay, throw them over, please. That's a cool. It's a good yes, call. It's a good call. It's a good call. What did you raise? 250. Two pairs okay. with the eights and sevens. Doesn't look so good once the pair of tens comes down. Yeah, it's a significant looking hand. Into the so those two are quite the close before the hand started. Yeah. You're going to give them more than they always come back. picked up. Very, very okay, helpful. Back Brand in the pot. <laughs> so we that, have a new cash well leader well again. Well done, Dawg. Winning the World Cup in 2003 uh, was probably a little bit more than special, but um, yeah, it was yeah, off the scale, totally off the scale in every single possible department. Um, and I, I can't imagine for, for one moment anything will come, come close to it. Play a lot of poker with the boys, especially when we go on um, you know, away trips, either on the bus at Wasps, um, certainly when we hook up with England in the hotels and all the rest of it, they seem to go long into the night and there's a good old school of lads that can always get together and play a bit of poker. Um, so it is very much rugby orientated, so it's apt that my first tournament experience is with another load of rugby players, it'll probably like be being uh, a bit old school. A lot of the people around the table know my form and I don't tend to hang about get bored very, very easily, um, and so get a bit ballsy. So it's, it's you know, go, go hard or go home. Well, that uh, inspirational check by Matt Dawson there that reeled in a bit more money for him has shot him to the top of the leaderboard and pushed Chris Sheesby down there with Tom Voice. Very much scrapping at the moment for last place. Let's have a bit more of a crack. Okay, yeah. 20. Because yeah. be interesting if it gets the heads up and Mike okay. Tindall's in it because Tindall he's just picking the blinds off. Yeah, but we're feeding you so the much ease. Information, the material, and you're just <laughs> batting it away as usual. Sixes. One of the fascinations of watching uh, <laughs> poker on the television is trying to predict the outcome, who you fancy is going to be there at the final it's knockings. Yeah. What are you thinking yeah. at the moment for that? Well, yep. Yeah. Mike Tyndall certainly seems to have a, a balanced game. But you can't <coughs> beat a player who's getting a few <coughs> cards and has got pass, pass. such great personality to be able to, uh, to sway the minds of others. So, and Austin Neely has obviously got a great chance, along with pass. Matt Dawson in the middle. Table presence it's does come into the equation somewhat. 60. Mike Tyndall's in a bit of trouble here. Should he decide to get involved? You're massive. <laughs> <laughs> Matt Dawson's got a problem as well. Trindle. He's got some interesting hands out there. If the flop comes Hello, high, there could be fireworks. I'll call it. I've got call. a pair of aces. <laughs> Turn up, sorry. Mm He's -hmm. slow played, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. He's over the big dog. Oh. Oh, Queen, ten. Well. Looks quite <coughs> attractive in some respects, but when you actually take a Jack. look at it, it hasn't really done anybody any favours. Obviously, Matt Dawson's got the best of it. Hundred. One hundred bet. I think might though. While he'd be extremely wary that one of the other two's got a queen. Exactly. He'll be looking at the up and down outs on a straight. Do you see them, man? And if an ace would have come down next, yes. Austin would be thinking he was laughing with a pair of aces. The 100 bet by Matt Dawson is uh, probably the sensible amount to start <coughs> in there. I don't call. know where you stand. It's been called by Austin Healy, who's hoping for a king, or possibly an ace or a jack. Or Mike Tindall's got the same problem. He's looking for a, a nine or an ace. 100 caught. And they're all locked in. Look at him over there, he's got like piles of a few. Quite a nice little yeah. catch for Matt Dawson here, should the cards go his way. <laughs> he's got piles of it. Ace. There's the ace, Mike. I wasn't sure the last check, time he got a straight. Check. He's tried to lull them in now with a check raise. And Austin, he looks oh, like his situation now. 
Oh. This could be this is catastrophic for Austin Healy, this, this couldn't it? They're all still optimistically thinking they may have the best hand. A good hand to get <coughs> away from Austin Healy, in it. if he could possibly get away from it. He couldn't really put Mike Tindall on the Jack and a King here. There's about a 10% chance that it could be a split pot. I think one of you two's got a straight, so I'm going to check. Okay, what Ed? Well, that's well read. Marvellously well read. How's he sorted that one out? Seven. Three clubs now. Straight potential. Now, the clubs are a bit of a worry for Mike Tindall, but he's got to go in and have a bet. He didn't get any action last time round. No, no. Just a oh, 200. 200 bet. 200. Hoping to get a caller. No, it's almost right. Pass. <laughs> <coughs> has obviously got the courage of his convictions because he's read it superbly. But he called the straight. So at the, at the very worst, I think the damage he's going to do is to just call this to see where he stood. Call. Call. 200 called. On the back. I don't like what he sees, no, but sure, yeah. he's got away right. pretty cheaply. He's got a straight. And slightly Sorry. annoyed. I, I'd redo that. Oh, no. Just... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, you turn him over, mate. He doesn't have to. Yeah. He doesn't have to. Yeah. He doesn't have to. Yeah. What an amazing hand that was. Uh, tens. Uh, looked quite good at one stage. And then that ace came down. Both players calling to stay in. And eventually, he needed it very well to get away with only losing a certain amount of his stack. What did you have us? Uh, ace, jack. Should just really showing you to be honest. Mike Tindall goes over the 2000 mark. I'll limp in. I'll limp out. Call. Pass. 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 Oh. <coughs> we nearly got a bit of cool. momentum going. Yeah, I was going to say, we nearly got a bit of momentum there, didn't we? Yeah. And you're up. And then you're waiting for two words can, then. What's funny? Uh, I've got like 20s down. Just to keep Austin happy. Yeah, but I'm still waiting for just two no words. No way. Are they? Are they? 500. Nice. We'll just friendly pot. Friendly, friendly pot. Just a little friendly one to get back in there, mate. Mm. Four, ten, six. Matt's got the trips. He's got the trips. Chris Sheesby's got a flush draw. 60 out. And Austin here, he's got mincemeat now. A little small hundred. Hundred. Must be one twenty. If you want to raise it. One twenty. Yeah. Sorry. It's gonna be double the bet. Yeah. So you've got to be double the bet. Oh, minimum right. raise there. Oh, from, sorry. Even though that is started from nothing. Yeah. Make yeah. one twenty. Mm. Austin here will probably clear the way. Pass. Call. I call. You're getting the value to call here. Would love to hit a club, although. Certain clubs wouldn't help him. The ten of clubs wouldn't help him. Eight. There's his club. There's his club. Um, um, Sixteen. Sixteen. Total a better win as well. Two hundred in total. Three hundred. Forty. He's getting serious money. One more. We've got an all in. One hundred fifty. As Matt's come over the top. Chris goes all in, and this yeah, is well timed for him because he only started the hand with 420 quid. Flushes. Flushes. Okay, hold on. That's the two. Okay. Two. Are you a yeah, belly buster, are you? Sorry. 60, are you for a 60 belly pound more. I'm, uh, I'm already there. How much are we? 60 more. Flush draw. Flush draw. Flush draw. Flush draw. Flush draw. Flush draw. Four of spades would be interesting. Four of spades. I've got the flush. Chris's face fall. Oh, look at this. board. Are you shouting for? Straight flush <laughs> Anyone, really? He's <laughs> nine o'clock. So okay. you know, no, he's even, he just needs a, one of these cards. Well done, mate. Yeah, man. You've got that back. You've got the Dawson to come. Yeah, he's got the Dawson. 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 He's got the
Good work. Oh, she's right. That's the last hand at that level. Gets himself right back. New blinds are going to be 30 and 60 pounds. For Chris Sheesby. We're going to change our dealer. Box, right? Dan Harrington, one of the greatest poker players in the world, had recently written uh, a very well respected book on. I was reading those books before Holden I got here. Advocates raising Tell. different amounts at different can times uh, with a view to playing, making sure perfect. that nobody can Stop really it. know exactly where <laughs> you are. I'll just call. So you get aces oh, in first in. position. Raised all in. Oh, that's you always raise the same. Well, no, you not become not too predictable by doing that. So. That's a difficult one. Someone will come with you, Tom, don't worry. Yeah. I'll be up. I'll be doors. 220 total. Oh, God. Pass. Right Austin will fold. Pass. Okay. Well, that's an all-in from Tom, isn't it? <laughs> Too bad, coming in with a bit of banter. Tom, apologies. Oh. I like to see. Oh, He's nice. waited for a hand for quite a while. Pass. 130. 130. I'd love to, Tom, I would. How big are you? I know Austin will. Pretty big. Austin Hades, not got much, so... Do you know what? Anyway. I'm going to call for a, a bit of fun. Just okay, for a bit of a laugh. 160. 160. Yeah. Yeah. We have. Got, Tom Voice has got the jack got absolutely to hear that I'm going to call. Pants. Move. Oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> You're a good lad. Right? That's one of them. better than Tom right. Voice's pants. And then you got an ace. Might be calling for a bit of a laugh, ball. but and the laugh oh, is going to be on the other end side end of Tom Boyce's face in oh, a moment. Potentially, he's still got chances. As you can Anything. see, he's going to win. Queen three against Jack Twice six. out of every five leading. hands from this position. We've got stand off. Austin's That's the really favourite. Yeah. Oh, the colour. Oh, 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 and the God. pair of threes favours Austin Healy. Or it doesn't change anything. You still need to no, six I'm or a jack. Not. not looking good for Tom. One card to save him. The river. Oh, oh, oh that's rips. That's not bad for him. Oh, that's not Tom Voice. Oh, sorry, up there. Is that what I'm saying? I want to go for a beer. I'm not going to do that limp. And then win it. Yeah, exactly. It's lost its voice. Further point, six down the park. Yes. What killed me was uh, the when I went all in with uh, uh, Austin. And he had the uh, pocket aces and I had the pocket two, so a bit disappointed, but that's how I play, all in, all out. We've lost one England rugby international. Yeah. Tiger Den still has five. Mike Tindall, healthy cash leader at the moment. Thank Matt you, Dawson Thank is you. now short stacked of the five of them, and along with Chris Sheesby, he's running at a loss Pass. at the moment. James has played some very tight poker. Pass. Mike's been very disciplined. Raise. Oh. Raise. Chris has as well. 180. The fact that he's prepared to. 180 total. Put in a big race here will send a few warning bells ringing round the table. Pass. Dawson gets rid of the King Nine that was being played early on when the blinds were small. And the, seemed to just be in the final. Though. The inspirational. Final. Yeah, a little bit of action. So he his queen seven suit. He big shoes. Wants to get involved. Look. You've got two tells actually. One's when you put your cards down. Put your cards down properly. Yeah. There you are. Nice <laughs> to you. I'll just give you a chance. Well, thanks. You got a pair of sixes then, have you? Uh, I'll call. One twenty to call. <laughs> You'd like to think it was a pair of sixes. Yeah, but got a pair of sixes. They go from mid range. I think I'm going for mid range pair. Pocket pairs. The team's going now. It's terrible. Oh, that. Yeah. I like that chat. I like Austin that. Austin Healy's talked himself into thinking that. Uh, it's a sign of nervousness if you're a bit pair. short on the. Uh, <laughs> He's eager to get it in. Oh, okay, six. Queen, king, six. Did you have a pair of sixes? That's what you reckon he has. Is that on me? It is. And if he has put him on a low mid range. How much you got, Shoes? I might be betting out here. 520. Well, 500 is more than I want to bet, so I'll just, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll just go 120. OK, 120. A little feeler bet into a pot, 390. Raise. Raise. Yeah. Chris is coming over the top. He's got, it's a bluff, but it has potential. A 10 would be a nice card to see, should it get to that stage. 
So it's a bluff with a little bit of backup insurance. But it's not been turned down by Healy and this is that all right? It's going to be a bit of a bloodbath here. I'm going to be 20 short. <laughs> I'm down late in this. Now at 630. Chris Sheesby's Three. pretty low. Austin Healy Check. picks up a flush Check. draw. He's now tied into this hand, regardless of what Chris Sheesby do, I would, I would think. An all-in bet, I don't think, will get him off it now. I don't know what the, the all-in is for Chris Sheesby, but I don't think it's enough. The only bet he really has got is all-in to try and scare him off the pot, and here it goes. Or is it? Is he saving some back for a rainy day? 120 cold. Well, 120 was never going to get him off it. Pretty. That was a no-brainer for Austin. He called it straight away. He didn't have to think about it at all. Pretty. And there's no way really now with the amount of money that Chris sheesby has got left that uh, he's not going to call the river. So this is a lovely pickup for Austin Healy. Check. OK. Oh, Check that, check, check. Okay, gentlemen, I've just got a pair, mate. Yours. Just a pair, but a pair of queens. Plenty good enough. Chris, ace high. Decimated as well. So often, I thought I'd lost that then, she's been. Aces get you into trouble if you start betting out. It's very difficult sometimes to get away from them. What were thinking, what are you chasing there, she's down to his last 250 quid. He might have done on the air, but on the turn. No. Highly competitive. Hate to lose. Hate to lose. Um, but also, I'm not a, unafraid to take the big step if it needs to be taken, and, and we'll take it, and we'll you know confront people head on, eye to eye, which is the way of the rugby game. If you don't, if you don't step up to the plate, someone's going to think you're weak and is going to run all over you. And it's the same in poker, but in a different, different respect. Fortunately, you don't get the running over bit. No, hang on, you might see a bit in the game. As you can see now, Tim was still out there in front. So involved in the play, and is I think really deserved to be up there in second spot after being so involved and having so much gameplay. I was actually chasing him. No, the lads out there having a game. You should be up there. It was a good pot. No, a bit hot so though. though. Like a red. Pretty static. Yeah, you're flushing a bit. That's probably because your heart rate was going up a bit. There, <laughs> heroes of <laughs> their honest, play fantastic. poker indoors. <laughs> They're going. I always find the best place to check it. Oh my god, it. just a little bit. Oh, Look at that raise. bad boy. Raise. I always find the best place to check it is where the biggest vein is. Two. <laughs> 180. Sure raise to 180 total. Well, that's now 180. Will he encounter any oh, resistance? Eight. Conduit around the table. Chrissy won't. Pass. Matt is quick to this is the man. Cool. throw it in his cool. as well. But pocket pair for Austin. Cool. The only problem cool. with uh, this particular call is that uh, he's getting involved to some degree with the big stack, in token, it, which is a little bit more serious yep. than getting involved with somebody with this. In potential to lose all of your money in one go. Yeah, so he's got to be more careful here, Austin Healy. Okay, so nice. nine, ace, nine. So, James. Or me. It's up to you. Check. Two pairs, check, check. so has Mike, and so has Austin, although his two I pairs not nearly bet. such good shape. I'll bet well, 450. James Daniel has hit his foot. 450. He's going to do well to get away from it, although that's quite a large, sizeable bet from mm. 1950. <laughs> that's the problem for him. James Simpson Daniel was. You hit the flop and you don't like it. What were you doing in the pot? I'm trying to read tins, but it's like looking at a Picasso painting. <laughs> <isn't it? laughs> no, it's not that pointed. <laughs> His nose isn't that bad. It is. It's roughly in the right place, isn't it? I like a bet without an ace. Yeah, but you're just saying that to make me bet because you have got an ace. <laughs> Spot on again. More good reads than your local library, this fella. I think he's worked out he's really got to give this up, even though he doesn't like giving up anything, right. does he? Good, sweet. 
Sweet. Yeah, mate, it gets good. involved with the big It's a bit low around here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> We're in amongst Pass. some cash. <coughs> so, it's a nice little thing to So we've hit our flop. I'm looking in really. Turns out I can't a rush draw. A rush, did you say? Throw them in. Will we get a second? What does that mean? Last hand at this level is what yeah, the alarm was. I've got an you know, ace, but indicating. You've got an ace? I'm kicking badly. Okay, not come into it, will it? No, he's definitely going to throw them now. He's told Mike Tindall what he's got. So the first time of the night you've actually had something. <laughs> and it's a big you've got an all in by now. <sighs> well, if you've got an ace, I'm full on naked running around the table. <laughs> <and the carpet. laughs> Uh, let's try everyone, and get. Let's um, try and get that next uh, hand. <laughs> unfortunately, everyone, he is not serious. Are you? What? Or are you serious? What? Yeah, you probably are. To be fair, he would, wouldn't you? What? Yeah. Run around the table naked. Yeah, he would. Yeah. If what? If he's got an ace? No, no, no. If I had an ace, oh, they're right. my cards. I thought you said if he had an ace, you'd do a lap. Oh no. I might do pants down. Yeah. Is James being talked into calling. Wouldn't give you the moon. What's he calling to? Oh, no, to be honest, to I don't want your moon. He's going to be caught with his pants down if he is calling here. Well, he's right calling to, to beat a hand that's not an ace, obviously. Great bet from Tins up, I'd have to say. Can we have some music? Pair of kings, pair of kings a high pair is obviously what Mike Tindall could have had when he raised. But when you could, but he if he's got an ace, you're going to have to go with him. Exactly. That he could have I'll raised with a big ace. And then where does he stand? He's a tight enough player oh, to get rid of it. We'll play tens. Wise decision, Dibble. Just that was the last hand at this level. So nice, I'll show you. We're putting the blinds up to 50 and 100 now. I was scared. I didn't want we'll to. We'll change our deal now. This thing is getting meaty. There's no mug around this table. But only one of them's walking out of here with six grand in their sky, Bobby. Welcome back to the PartyPoker.net Sports Stars Challenge. It's the rugby players in our first heat, and though it looks like they're all the best of friends, there's no favours to be had on this table. Mike Tyndall looks the strongest, but someone's sure to tackle his lead. Thank you. Thank you. There's a check. There's a ball card in the check. Or like an out. So we've got Mike Tyndall, who's hit some, had some very nice hands, picked up a lot of blinds, bet his hands pretty strongly. Pass. Austin Healy, who's been very active and very entertaining as well. Pass. The others at the moment, struggling. Austin Healy with the Doyle Brunson I'll raise. hand. Raise. Not too sure he knows it's the Doyle Brunson hand. 300. 300 in total. Great Dor Brunson won the World Series of Poker on. Raises with it. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. And we've run into a pair of eights. But that's not to say that those pair of eights are going to end up taking the cool. pot. <coughs> because Pass. James Simpson Daniel plays a different style of poker to Mr. Healy. And if you get talked out of them depending upon the flop. It's just the two of them, I believe. Two overcards to those Please. eights. Check. Spell fear. Oh, check. Amazing. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Check stands. And check. Okay. All checked. So Austin's hit a pair of twos. Okay. James still in control. Oh, hit two. Not anymore. He's not. I think the brakes are off. Awesome. James anyway. Three overcards after a raise. He must have talked himself into Austin's something. Yeah. Yeah, he decided to fire out. This is the most yeah. reckless thing yeah. James has done so far. It's hard to do though when you play. When you're playing with actual. If I raise. An eight or a nine, uh, we'll win in the hand. When you're playing with actual mm -hmm. 20s, four, and stuff, nine would be. Yeah, yeah. Do. The straight draw. If you're playing with chips. Eight obviously will give him three of the kind of trips. Austin with his tens and twos having landed. Austin's raising though, so. Not, it's not obvious that uh, he will be seeing the river, although oh, cool. James has got it. I know he calls. He said he was going to raise. I thought he did anyway. I sworn he said he was going to raise. Yeah. Well, the call's a trap as long as the nine doesn't come. Oh. 
really bordering on lemming-like. It's just the level of carnage now that James gets himself involved in. I don't think there's any way that uh, he's going to talk Austin Healy, of all people, out of calling at the very worst. He's having a little count up and a roll call. There's not much left there. There's 1,010 in the pot. To put in anything, to put the likes of Austin Healy off the hand, it's got to be a significant bet. I'm not too sure how much he's got. About 500 left? Jack. <laughs> I'll tell you so I started with chat, just less than a thousand this hand, so. Don't. Oh dear. So was that a check there from <coughs> straight? James? You got Ace King? <coughs> a two pair. That would be for a two pair, Ace King. Schleck. We're in the danger here. It I was checked. There's a lot in the pot, isn't there? I don't think I should be greedy. <laughs> I'll check. Well, I don't think you'd have probably got much more out of him anyway, but... Uh, 2 ten. <coughs> Fortunately for James, damage limitation. Gee Finally saw the error of his ways after betting out after the turn. On a nod. I'll call you if you've gone all in. Will you? Some Nearly did, there's all No, right. just one. So really, James, pounds. it could have been worse. Got some 20, but still, wasn't very clever. Get your tenors out of the screen. The positions and Austin's one right out behind right now. Only 60 quid in it. The other three. Why do you want to take them off? Between the three of them. They give you more. Exactly. You win it. You get more cab on their own. You think like the boss. It's a lucky tenner. You just leave it. I'll hide it if you want. Blinds are 50 and 100. Chris Sheesby really is now struggling. He's having to put in. A hundred on his big blind, which I believe leaves him very, very short. He's going to be desperately looking for some good cards. <coughs> a bit more room for manoeuvre for Matt Dawson. In first position, Jack 10. Well, he hasn't really got the, the amount of money to be speculating on Jack 10. But if he can get in cheaply for the hundred, perhaps it's worthwhile. Or is he considering walloping it all in and taking all of your a risk? thinking face. He is, is he thinking about an all-in? He knows he's going to be the big blind next. Oh. It would be a bit early to press the panic <coughs> button, but perhaps it wouldn't look like panic. I will. Well, he's got Chris on the big blind. He knows that that big blind constitutes 40% oh, right. of Chris's <laughs> stack, so he knows that Chris is probably going to play whatever it is. Maybe he thinks there's cheap money in the pot. Well, he's Pass. raised, but it's not the biggest raise in the world. He's raised I'll raise. twice the big blind. He runs into another uh -oh. monster and from Mike Tender, the executioner. Quite I'll raise another four. Okay, 600 in total. And that's a bet, really, that... Um, and the big question, Chris Sheedy will probably get out of the equation unless he decides to bet for the value of having three people in the pot. Possibly could say that two players have got Number big three. cards, I've got the small cards, it could come to my benefit. But, it, but he's up against a pair of kings. And now the question for Matt Dawson is... All in. Okay, all put in. in the remaining... Oh. We've got an all in oh. on the call. Perhaps he felt obligated I did. the amount of money he'd already put in. After. Better go and see Voicey. <laughs> I think he might be joining Tom Voice in the bar in a minute. We'll we'll find Five, out. He still no, has chances, right. of course. No. No. Five, Jack ten two, connected. One, so two, one, two, three. Gets three, lucky four, with the flop, but could back. completely mm -hmm. different. A different scenario, four, ten, but Mike. Oh. But six ten. He's got two hundred. Really, yeah. really yeah. good. Okay, so six, so six, six in there. So if I put sixty there, mm -hmm. take that back. That's exactly yep. right. Okay. Oh. Pendalizer, that's I picked the right one there, didn't I? What have you got? Nothing. Hoping to get cheese all the Yeah, start the car. Yeah, yeah. Uh, thank you, buddy. <laughs> I was hoping to get the cheese in there. Can we? I, 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 I fancy you, yeah. Do you? Yeah, I don't. Give me that No, no. I fancy Nine and a queen Not, I mean, on the flop would make for uh, uh, an interesting. Oh, the river. What a flop. What a flop. Dawson! Well, they call him the river because he often draws luck on the river. <laughs> King might have Other than yeah. the king. There's another thing for you. 
for a queen nine. That's completely out turned it cold. around. Two, two pair now for Matt. There you are. And now more to come. Is there a queen nine to come to turn the tables? That would be a long shot. The threes have been pretty close as well, haven't yeah. they? Come on, put me out with misery. Three or a seven. Tins. Only a I don't deserve that, do I? Ah, well. If I'm honest. Take it. I don't deserve that. Take it. Possibly a three and a seven. I'll take it. OK, <laughs> Matt that. doubles up. Matt T. Dawson. King's cracked. Matt Matt in a cold sweat, thought he was Stop going. <laughs> And the man they call the river got lucky on the flop. Bugger. Mike Tyndall's Back pair of kings. That was a big, Sees big him hand lose to win, yeah. the hand. Right, big hand. Settle, what Dawson. was the total? 1,220. What a flop. What a flop. That was a dream flop. Well, that was a dream flop. As bad as it looked for Mike Tyndall. But uh, what a nice picture to see. Two red Jackson 10s. Your two. This is the moment. He just wants something decent, perhaps a queen even. A king. What's he got? Ugh. Oh, well, that's worth Pass. waiting for something better. And quite rightly, showing the next one there yeah. under duress. The, the next board. one's the one. Call. 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 The next one is the one, Chris, Call. you're right. And James Simpson uh, once again being range involved with the stage two. I don't like it much. Most check, check. professional yeah. players around the, the world have learned how family pot. bad a hand ace two can be. And once again, the, the ace hits, Jack five, and ace. he doesn't like it. Check. Not for the first time, that ace two. He's looking horrible for him. Doesn't know where he stands. He comes down and raise. Raise. Mike Tindall gets involved. He won't like the sound of the word raise. And now James Simpson, again, has hit his ace and has to fold. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shaky, shaky. Oh, um, shaky, shaky. I'd like to raise it to... Whatever, just put it on the table, let her count it. Rear will count it. Blind by the pink. Whatever that is. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's counted it twice and still doesn't know. 500 in total. It might well have been a bit perturbed. A pair of jacks that to 500 in total. he was on. Not looking so good now with uh, Austin representing the ace. Well, just going to go all in there. James with the two kick up. Oh, right wins it. More. But Mike's going to get involved now. This fool hardy. Well, I would say. 500 calls. That's a big bet. And he's called it without really taking too much into the equation. It's a lot of money out of Mike Tyndall's stack. It's sort of like a quarter of the amount of money he's got, roughly. 10. He's been taken in by the fact that Austin admitted that the last hand he played, he had 4-7, and he knows that he plays loose, is he? Well, <coughs> yeah, but he must take into account that himself, uh, Austin Healy knows that uh, Mike's a tight player. Would he raise a tight player? Mike's Three clubs, well. Yeah, I was going to say, Mike's potential salvation is a club coming down on the river. We've seen Austin now slow up a bit. Jack. And okay. he slowed up again, and, and given Mike Tyndall the possibility of taking a free card, He might as well take a free card, a nine, or a club, <laughs> or another jack. He's got a number of cards now. How am I going to get a lift to St Pancras if you're trying to rush off? Dumb shit. Get a taxi. And just 20 quid. <laughs> <laughs> The eight of clubs will be a very interesting card on the river. Probably one of the greatest comebacks of all time. She's <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we like the, like the, the guy this morning. And it's oh, a jack. That's pretty. Well, 140. Yeah. 140. Yeah. 140. Yeah. And Austin Healy. That is pretty. Let the door open. And Mike Tindall has accepted it gratefully. And now it looks superb. It really does. He shouldn't really be putting him on a full house. So. It's a green light for Mike Tyndall to go ahead. 
how much money to try and get out of Austin Healy? How much of a bet will he accept? What are you thinking? <laughs> mm, just remembering how much the pot is. No, what are you thinking, Mike, is how much can I fleece you here? 1,150, the pot is roughly. 1,200. Hey? 500, 500, 100, 100, I know, 1,300. Yeah. So I said 1,250. It's not a bit more than that. Um, you put a little 300 bet in or? Yeah, you can't remember what you put in. It's 500. Uh, count it, you're so nervous. What's the will to live? How oh, about 500? 500 bet. 500 bet. Mm -hmm. Ah, tinsy, dirty little dog. You got a flush? Cool. Okay. Well, he's calling it. A pair Jack. of bases, he fancied. <sighs> Yeah. And the trash. Well, I reckon they're costing Austin big time. Mike, the new cash leader. Has he got a jet? Just got horrible. Oh, uh, well played, Tins. Well, I'm going to kill the ice side, Bob. Words that Austin well, did say had been great. Not great. OK. The big blind is all in for 100. Just to draw from the rugby side of it is be aggressive. You know, it's a, it's not, a, it's not a contact game, but you've got to be as physical as you can with the, with the amounts of chips you move in at the right times and, and try and scare other opponents off. The biggest part of my character that makes me good is I've got a lot of patience. I'm, I am prepared to fold hands, which I, I think are around about. I think there'll be quite a lot of chat just with the fact that we've got <laughs> Dawson and and Healy here. So uh, I think there'll be a lot of chat, but I'll get involved with that. But you. Play your hands when, you, when the hands come along. And with that, Mike now has exactly half of the cash. Three grand out of the six going round the table. Chris Sheesby really is in last chance saloon now. £100, and he is the big blind in this hand. Needs cards. That jack on the end, you dirtbag. <laughs> Well, he got lucky to a certain extent, didn't he, Sorry. Mike? Because he right. went in with yeah, a big £500 bet when, when well, you he can't. was a appreciable second to Austin. Yeah. You, get, you, should, you should get him to do it. It'll be straight. Yeah, well, he was allowed to be lucky, so... Be positives, right? The negative. Or the other yeah, way around. Unfortunately, there's always two ways to look at this game. you got to come from... Sometimes yeah, you can feel that you were unlucky, but you are the instigator of your own downfall. And so the big blind. No. She's already in. Austin Healy picks up the ace cool. five. One hundred called. Pass. Just a call. Yeah, I'll, I'll call. Both players oh, calling now. I'll call blind. <laughs> call. Oh. Just Have you not seen your cards? No. Oh, Try and knock out Chris Sheesby. It's nothing okay, personal. It's just the way the game's okay. played. Chris <laughs> <laughs> Sheesby has. Come on, Sheesby. Three hundred and fifty. No, three hundred pounds to. Come on, to geez. try and extricate by yeah. surviving five cards. I think Tyndall are sufficiently <laughs> experienced enough to not start betting too strongly unless they've got a monster hand. So he's got to play against the two of them. Maybe a bit of checking going on there. Green, two, nine. Everybody's missed. Jack. Mike though likes Four the checks. diamonds. Yep. <laughs> you look to yours. Three. And still everybody misses. Jack saves Chris. But that's the only Jack. chance he's got. <sighs> this is not a clever 250 move. Tens. 250. Yeah. 250 bet. It's in a side pot. Side pot is Okay, side pot called. 250 cord. If Mike Timble now gets out of the equation, and he really doesn't want to be putting any more money into this. Why well, should he? No point. King. Check. And check. Okay. Uh, this, this I, was, first. I was dreaming of a diamond. Okay. Okay. So Chris. Okay, for the centre part. Shows a jack. Shows high. the jack and the five. Okay, Austin. You got okay. beat that. King high <laughs> with a jack kicker. <coughs> Spells okay. the end for Chris. For the centre part. The ace takes everything. Ace takes. 
Takes both points. Yeah. Yeah. And we lose a player. Austin yeah. takes the pot. Chris Sheesby didn't have the luck just when he got himself short stack, needed some ammunition. Never got the bullets he wanted. Chris leaves us. Just one big line. Second player to go. One big line, I'm going to move you, Mike. Yeah, get him out of that seat a bit. Yeah, when you're just getting out of hand, it's just really tough, it's really frustrating. But yeah, that's that's the way it goes. You just you just wish it wasn't the case. So you could just play a little bit and see what happens. Boring the yeah, rugby internationals are left. Two World Cup winners. This is a different kind of tension for you. We've got 150. Yeah, it's one big blind. 450. Oh, someone's gone. A little blind's gone. Unfortunately. Blinds have gone up again, as you can see. Call. Cool. Call. Cool. 70 for the Pass. small blind, 150 Pass. for the big blind Pass. now. And James, who's in last place, has yeah. about five times the big blind, so it's not in too much of a pressure Any situation. Race? Um, no, I'll, I'll. No race. Is it? Five five nine. Well, that so often happens with just two players in. Nobody hits the flop, but the, an encouraging sight to some degree for Matt Dawson. He's picked up a, a weird straight draw, an inside straight draw. Um, Does he want to bet it though? Wouldn't he rather see a free card? I will go all in. Well, that's Raised one, that's one thing call, to do. Dawson. Well, that's that six? Danger with that is if his opponent did have a hand. You got nine ten, haven't you? Okay, six seventy, all in. <clears throat> I've got King Jack. Do you beat it? You're higher than King Jack. Much higher. Well stuck then. Pass. Five nine. Good job. Hey. Good job. Enough. Pay to see. Pay to see. Watch it on the TV. 72 match, one Good play by Matt. Who are you like? Like back in school, you're a teacher. Try and get some action now, try and pull him. Yeah, yeah, good job, cheers. This with some decent sized pots. Why didn't you come over there? Why didn't you come over there? I just thought you had usual nines. Would I beat you? Pass. Good job. Eight to four. You'd run these in my house. Um, Look at this, Matt. Suited ace. I will. Might do more than that. That's Basil on the sun, Do so you want to sell my table? Raise. Whatever it's going to be. You're going to match the 80 there. Yeah. Plus the 150, eight? so you need to put 80 in here. To make it 300 total. Okay. Okay, raise of 150. Minimum raise with a, All right. a suited ace. Yeah. Happy. Middle kicker. E -E Beautiful. No flinching from cool. Austin Healy. I'm just, oh. giving, I'm just giving you money here, yeah, basically. He's big down here. The Queen's been pretty good to him all night long, I remember. Has he? Can't really see the glass, can't really see the glass. Paid off from so far. Nice, we'll cover that. Eight. Oh, an inside eight, straight draw seven. there. But Matt's hit sevens. Of Encouragement for both. Check. Check. And this time Matt Red checks. Check. He could have been forgiven for betting out then. Five. Oh, no, five. Five's good. That's a nightmare card. Six. Well, his side, um, you can't really put him on anything, so why the six should be that much of a worry. He might as well bet and see where he stands, but perhaps he should have bet beforehand. And once again, letting the door open. 300 called. 300 called. 300 a lot of money. Matt Dawson's only got 600, roughly oh, 800 there. <laughs> well, the salmon's all going. I could be going here. Quickly. A little bit too quickly, perhaps, from Austin, might he just I have doubt it, Oz. summed it up for a moment? Three. Cool. That's not changed anything at all. Can I check it out or pay? Yeah. yeah. Whoa, it's his option, not yours. <laughs> <laughs> You're not allowed to do that. You're not allowed to do that. <laughs> <laughs> so we're playing old school there, weren't we? Yeah. Check. 
check. Check, check. <laughs> Once again, very cautious. I got straight. <laughs> very cautious. Is. Oh, yeah, we have a straight. <laughs> and that was at uh, check it out. Austin's instigation, I believe, wasn't it? Yeah. We wanted to check it off. out. Very generous I, mean, I don't know. Is it perhaps the diamonds? I just don't know. Perhaps, perhaps he's very friendly. Perhaps he likes a family game. He doesn't want to get people out the door. But for somebody who plays so loose before the flop, I'm just letting ten, to then uh, put the brakes on as much as he sometimes does is fascinating. Uh, obviously, what you're thinking. I don't believe you, Julia. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. It's three o'clock. I'm trying. Works for him. Well, in its own way, it can keep you out of danger. You're not prepared to commit the final yard. But you wonder whether or not you can then win the event by doing that. And whether perhaps I'll raise. Mike Tindall has more raise. game play in him when it matters. What's the big one? 150. 150. King Queen, four handed. I raise to two four fifty. Raise to four fifty total. We raise all in. Oh, oh, God, the fun I could have with this. And then that's a re raise. Only had three I doubt so it would be. It might be a re raise of twenty eight. pairs. <laughs> oh, no, it won't be. It's one fifty. It's big time to triple up. Yeah, mate, I've three got seventy a hand all in. This is hand thirty eight, oh, okay. and it could be okay. one of the yeah. most the significant of the whole four. night for these four guys. Tim was ace five. Will he get involved with this king queen? That's the question. Oh, so this is against win. everything that I'm always about. I cannot believe I'm going to do. On the fence. No, I, I've fold. never sat on the fence in my life, have I? Sitting on the fence means I play now. <coughs> well, I can't believe I've just it's a good fold, and he's upset about that. Very big. Possibly. Yeah. Big. Big. Oh, nice. I, I had a hand as well. Actually. I'll move back. He's got okay. three seventy. Three seventy. Four fifty. So he's got eighty okay. back. There's that. I'll give us just twenty. He's got eighty back in it. 374.50. Yeah. yeah, that's it. Okay. So, Cheers. not for the first time. Okay, let's have him on the back. Mike Tindall shows ace five. All in. And Matthew cards. shows king queen. Eight queen. Did you? Yeah. But he's diamonds. got chances here because of the two go. diamonds, as you can see. Mike's only a marginal favourite. I've had one off you, and you've kept me in for another hour. Ah. There's an eight there. Oh, good nice. night. Oh, no, no hearts out, so. It's a shame, isn't it? The eights helped okay. slightly. Two more hearts or so. Yeah, sure. Still, it could be a queen. Eight or a queen, no help. An eight and a queen. Eight or a queen. Eight and a queen. Where's the lady? Amanda, are you a lady? <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> the Dawson. Surely he can't do it again. Oh. Oh. No, no, he can't. Much. Well done, bro. What's up, man? And that's the end well, for Matt well done, Dawson. Boys. Mate. Take care. Take it easy. Well One of the World Cup winners oh, thanks, is out. Eliminated. Cheers, boys. All right. Yeah. By the other, Mike Tyndall with another big hand. And Matt Dawson is the third to go home. So that's the hand that saw the end of Matt Dawson. Had to play it really with the eight queen, he was so short stacked. And as soon as the ace came down in the flop, he knew that he was in real trouble. It's every man for himself in poker. So what if Mike Tyndall and Matt Dawson have sung the national anthem side by side? and a little matter of lifting the Rugby World Cup together in Sydney. All that goes out of the window at the card table. I, I really, really did enjoy it. Enjoyed the little bit of buzz of winning, losing, and uh, yeah, good fun, do it again. You know, I'm not happy with mediocrity, usually, but you know, to finish ahead of a couple of the lads, finish sort of mid-table, yeah, I'll take that. Three left of our rugby players, not a prop in sight, although we do have a loose head and a tight head. Certainly Austin has been playing plenty. James, well aware of the percentages, ultra cautious, but as a result of that, significantly short stack now. Pass. Pass. Yes, James has played 33% of all the hands out there. And Austin Healy's. Give it a 4 5 then. Have a nice hand there. 60%. Nice hand. Mm. Do you want to go via Leicester on the way home? Oh, yeah. Nearly gone there. Tell you what is significant, Steve. 
Mike has mm. bet 14 hands him. out of the 40, and he's won he 13. Okay. They're playing plenty of, re paying plenty of respect when it comes yeah, to the blinds. He's, he's pitched the blinds for the last hand, and he's certainly got a massive winning percentage. And he ha on the occasions he's been called, he's also hit his flop, which has helped as well. Okay, big blind he's had a much more to be simplistic mine. game so uh -huh. far, or well, the way it's turned out anyway. And the options up to yourself. Uh, much more varied path has been trodden I'll by... All in. Austin Healy. Raised all in. Uh, James goes all How in. How much is it? So been asked the question. Yeah, he's getting me a five ten, I think. Mike Tyndall looks at his cards. The question's been asked. How much is the bet by Austin Healy? Okay, it's Healy. 510. Do you believe has got <sighs> Call. Austin has ace jack against That's James's cool. ace eight. Well, James picked his spot, but unfortunately, three handed ace to find jack. another ace. James has got bad luck. Ace eight, he needs to hit an eight. I just need to put it up to five ten, okay. Hey? He's got a matter to five yeah, ten, but five, okay. Ten. Two. Three. There's the percentage chances. Oh. Dates have been coming, I'm telling you. Okay. Well, there are two five. diamonds. Three. Four seven. And the possibilities <laughs> of a some sort of back draw strike. <laughs> should a seven and a four come? <sighs> There's a few possibilities, uh, but I need to the ace yeah. doesn't make yeah. any difference whatsoever. Oh, he's not in good shape. I'm a door so so eight only now. Seven. Three. Five, six, seven, oh, okay, James. James, mate, what's up? And that's the end of Nibble. James. Nibble. Not long one. after Matt, and just Nibble. a couple of hands Nibble. later. Nibble. In space Nibble. of five hands. We've okay, lost yeah, three of the competitors. Yeah, James on. Simpson Daniel don't next to go. Tenor. And it's heads up between Mike Tyndall. Don't take that tenor off the table. I had a great time. Um, obviously, <laughs> didn't manage to, uh, to win as many hands I'd have liked, but, but hung in there for a little bit and um, just ran into a brick wall at the end. I don't like it, Bids. Come to me. Hug me. And then there was two. These England rugby internationals won't be backing down. They're both so close to the line and grabbing that £6,000. And of course, there's added value in being able to say you're the best at poker in the rugby world. Don't go anywhere. They're close friends. Good luck. Arsenal and colleagues, but yeah. no doubt they pay for another hair. Both <laughs> desperate to um, win. And there's the comparison between them. They both won just about the same number of fans, but look at the bet frequency. That is a very significant statistic. 65% Austin. Mike will only play about one every three hands, but has won a bigger pot. Comes in with a £700 advantage Good into luck. these head-to-head -head hands. Now, the thing up with the heads up, Steve, two completely contrasting styles. Yes, and both have been making themselves busy. Mike Tyndall bought more with the, more friendly the good cards. You play a lot more pops. Austin Healy. Yeah, 600. Calling <laughs> 600 a lot more, yeah. but he's come straight out firing there with a 600 bet, representing something good, and he's got it. Ace nine. Raises 400. Aggression is the order of the day. But obviously, if you expect aggression, do you believe it? No, oh, sorry. Six, six, He's trying to get away with 100 there. Now, Mike <laughs> told us earlier that he thought that Austin was a loose player. It's made a difference. He is loose to a certain extent, doing but doing he's, not, hey? he's not just out and out loose. Him. He's not I wouldn't have completely you. erratic. He does have Pass. a lot of guile about his game as well. I wonder if... And I might be doing Mike down here, but I wonder if Mike appreciates just how much guile Austin does actually show. Well, loose before the flop, but... Uh, uh, there's a bit of game playing in before, uh, after the flop, and has shown some caution when required. Possibly put the red lights on. It's a bit too much, but he's got himself into the heads-up situation. And it will be interesting to see if the cards dry up for Mike Tyndall. Where do you reckon they are? How he, go, how he goes counting. about playing then, because <laughs> it wouldn't seem to matter too much for... Quite like to be able to Austin do a Healy. decent shuffle there. He'd still be keen to play. So Mike Tindall with a small blind, first to act. I'll call. And a call. One option. No raise. Both having a seven. Jack All ten, red. eight. Nobody's on a flush draw as yet. Check. Check. 
Nine would be delicious for Mike. Two hundred pounds. Likes the pair of eights, of course. Now, would have lost him. Put him on his bottom pair, but bottom pair heads up is a good hand. No real point in getting too involved here for Austin Healy. You can't really cold, start yeah. putting. You can't really put in two hundred pounds just to try and hit a nine. Uh, as we know, it wouldn't make any difference. He's going to just get his money back. But it's an, an awful nine. call, really. And he's hit the nine now. Check. Check. Well, I, su I suppose the only way that it's not a bad call is if, if you can represent a queen. Bizarrely, I suppose that could work, but I don't suppose it was on his mind. If it is, he's a better card player than I am. Check. All checked. He's checked the straight. I don't see him throwing away Two. anything. It's been checked by Austin Healy. It's a, such a cautious ending to what should be some type of fireworks. 800 to the pot. A sizable bet. Surely he couldn't take it away from Mike Tinkley. 300. 300. 300 not going to hurt him. He's got to pull it up short. Does he have a queen? Uh, I'll, I'll call. I've got a seven, so I'll call. Do you have a queen? Hey? You got a queen? No, seven. Yeah. I've got a seven too. Well, miracle pull up on miracles. Austin Healy got his money back from that pot. Okay, that's the three. Okay, yeah, so if you keep your three, that's Keep your three, yeah, I can just split that money. Okay. Nice hand off. Good hand, copycat. Split pot for the jack straight. Hey, at least I had the pair when I bet. Hey? At least I had the pair when I bet. Ooh, yeah, bye-bye. <laughs> you got there. <laughs> I didn't think he was going to make that one. <laughs> With equal cards, you would think that possibly Austin Healy was the more likely to come unstuck. But that's never been the case at poker. And by being Did someone ask you loose, to put the camera at that angle? He can call and get lucky. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to go back and arm up the other day. <laughs> Please go back that way. Oh, God for that. He's been good value. Very, very good value. And he's shown himself to be a, raise. Raise. a tricky little car player as well. Six hundred. I'll raise it six hundred. You're making it Asian raise total. Raise. There's the two hundred. Asian total. Six hundred. Okay. Four times the big blind. And Mike Tyndall would need a sizable hand to start investing any more money in this pot. You wait until I counted it all out. <laughs> Sorry. I was about to see what you were raising properly first. You know, you're not, your mass isn't the best. Not been short, been short most times. That's a whole fun night. That means your match is good. You don't promise you can't get away with it here like your camera will. I wonder if the lads are still here watching the big screen. Yeah, they are. They all there? Hi, lads. I'll raise. Raise. Well, that's the first bluff of heads up from Mike. The first out and out bluff. 7 yeah. 2 off suit. As bad a hand as you can get. It might as well be a sizable raise in some respects because Austin Healy doesn't fold easily. Raise it 5. 7 in total. I'll re raise. Re raise. Whoa, oh, he's picked the wrong all. time. Um, I'll make it look like timing. how much is he going for in total? Disregarding the possibilities that Tyndall has a monster or an ace. Considering that the king and queen is good enough. 7,000. More than that's in the game. OK, I'll make it 1,500. Two. Three. Four. Hey. Pass. Well, 
I'll save you the time that time. Nice read Thank you. or nice timing. Wow. Whichever way. Scoops the money. Makes a, a significant dent in Mike Chindle's cash. <laughs> My Not sister's right 30th birthday on um, Thursday night right. in Leicester. How is she? Cash leader at the moment. Disappointed with she. I'm not going. <laughs> 700 quid lead. The nature of rugby players, they're all slightly crazy and uh, for that reason anything can happen. I'd like to say, hopefully, uh, you know, I haven't come here not to win. One of my strengths will probably be the fact that I've always been un unpredictable throughout my life. Um, I've always been honest, so usually if I'm bluffing, I'll be telling the truth, and uh, we'll see how that pans out. Mike Tindall dealing. The only I'll raise. The first raise. to act is the dealer, is when it's heads um, up. He raises I'll raise with it incredible raising hand. By 600, so. Fireworks here. Five. Just say five or six. 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 Was that eight to play? Yeah. I know what style of play Austin Healy is going to be Call. adopting for the rest of this heads up. As he calls a sizable chunk with an inferior. I'm 250 hand. sure. <laughs> Three. Nine. And as usually check. happens, nobody hits the flop. First to bet. And check. All checks. It's a bit, it's a bit tight from Tyndall, but there's a, there's a significant amount in Hi. there now. Can somebody manage a bet? Can somebody pull one out? Five hundred. Five hundred. All right. Raise. A raise, that's a marvellous move. What a move. <sighs> Is Austin Healy counting out money to put it in to call? It seems reckless to have come so far in the event. He really can't call this. Opponent raises free flop. Cards go in the muck. What do you have? Very high two cards. No pairs. It's Six thousand pounds to the winner, and a further twenty should he win. That border factor. I'll raise. Raise. Or a sign of the mental tiredness that comes in. When you say poker's not a sport. A raise. A pair of sevens. Incredible hand. Is it 400? Raise is 400, 600 in total. Has he found anything? Well, he's got mince meat, but he's reached for his pile. There's nothing puts him off pre flop, is there? Nothing at all. Very strange the way he plays. As we've been saying, it has worked for him. Makes him difficult to read, but oh, is he just having a roll call here? I think maybe I just have a call. Oh, he's calling. Oh, he's just having a count. One, two, three, four. And there, as usual, Ten, nine, nothing eight. for nobody. Check. Check. But a pair of sevens, obviously winning at the moment. Hard to envisage them being beaten. And check, all checked. Slows up. Ace. Ace of Hearts. Perhaps that's the only card that would make him flinch. But all in. <laughs> oh, that's a move, and it can't be called. It just cannot be called. What a move! Do you want to go home? Um, or that's your question. Always considering it. Not just yet. 1,150. He's considering it. Well, you asked the question anyway, right. but surely not. Why would you go all the way in there? Well, you've got Jack, Queen, 
Why would you go all in? This is a good question to ask, but it's a bit risky. Why would you go all in? Because he's got one better card than you've got. They're going in the muck. What a call it would be. But I don't think Possibly it's going to happen. Austin Healy has nerves of steel. And he turns over the 8 3 just to rub it in. It was either massive or dog shit, and it was the second. Hurt him. That, <laughs> that really, that really it. hurt him. I'll keep it friendly. Call adoption. Oh, well, worth a raise. They're usually quite big when you're limping at the start. <laughs> Check. Check. No raise. Setting him up for later, perhaps. Yeah. But neither of these players really know where they are in this Keep situation. That looks four, interesting. Four, it really five. does. Both players have got some interest now in this. And I'll raise. Or I'll bet. Yep. So Austin's got a gut shot, gut shot draw, and two will give him a straight. He's also got four hearts, so he's got a flush draw as well. Mike has two pairs, fives and fours. So 800. It's a little bit. A very big bet. It is a very Doesn't big bet. And a little bit of something for everyone. Now, the last time he put in a big bet, he had nothing. And that was the last. I'll call. Hand. And it's been Found called. <laughs> Obviously, Austin Healy had a four, which is an awful call, as it is. The hearts are dangerous. Be more to come here. One. Could be. Eight. There's his heart. He's absolutely right. And it's low enough as a card that it may tie in Tyndall. How's he going to play? Check. Oh, well. Check. He's given a free card to Tyndall to get out of trouble by hitting a four or a five here. If Tyndall can identify that he doesn't need to bet. Why do you keep looking at them? You know exactly what they are, but you keep looking at them. Wasn't sure if they were both the same suit or not. Being as honest as he can possibly be, best way to be. Can he resist the bet? I'll go all in. Oh. Go all in. Call. Call. Go all in. Four. Oh. Mike Tyndall. No. Okay, no five. So Mike. You got five. Well, have yeah. been a bad Someone decision. On the back then, lads. Well. He's not Austin shows completely. Flush. He's going to oh, have some money left. Okay, and uh, four five or five or to get out of trouble. Mike shows five six. He's got two pairs. If the four or the five Should pairs, he wins a full house. Needs a full house. He's been lucky on the river before. I think back to that Jack that wrong really hurt Matt Dawson. Oh, and this time oh, it's, it's a seven, so he ends up no with help. a straight. Austin's flush <laughs> sees him win the biggest carries. pot of the day. Four and a half grand in that pot. And he has turned it around. Six, 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 Twelve. And it was a marvellous turn card for Healy. Shot at Tyndall. Sure. <laughs> Still advantage Austin Healy. And he'll like those very much in the King Seven suited. Worth raising with. I'll limp in. Oh, oh, and all of a sudden, Mike's oh, getting busy. Tens. He's getting busy. Cool. What do you have got in? Oh, oh, in oh, oh, he's got a nice Well, he's nice out of a handy, free nice shot now. Yeah, Mike Tindall shows. Nine, ten. Mike Tindall, he's got enough money that... You need to get lucky. He's in front with a king seven. seven. He's still got two lines. Two lines. His gamble pre-flop has paid off for most of the match. And here we go. He's still in front. Five. Eight, no, three. To me. No help to Mike. Hi. It was a bit rash, the all-in. 
It might be Rush at the tune of the six grand. Of four. Still no Very help. Very little Mike. help. He's so king. I'm a Dawson. <laughs> six <laughs> cards helping. It's a Jack. Our winner Hello. is Austin Healy. Cheers, Cheers mate. Pal. Thanks a lot for that. Hold well on. Try, try and try again. Fantastic game. But he just couldn't beat Austin Healy. Bugger. Who proved in heads up, despite at one stage being three grand down, that he had the nous and the guile. And Mike and Tyndall no, you've got to stay is out. What's Austin Healy <laughs> takes the six grand and has a shot at the 20 <laughs> grand overall you? title. <laughs> 59 hands of sensational poker. It looked like Mike Tyndall was going to do it for so long, but what great heads-up play from Austin Healy. Let's hear from them both now. No, a little disappointed, obviously. Um, I possibly should have gone all in on the pair of fives and the fours, and it would have been a tough call on the flush draw. Probably Austin would have made it anyway with, with the way he plays. Um, but, you know, it was a good game. It was a good, a good battle. And, you know, just needed to get lucky at the end. Maybe possibly wasn't the right time to chuck it all in. I, I think I had more chips in there, or more notes than I actually thought I did, and probably could have played a little bit better. Um, but, you know, played well until then and just made a couple of errors at the end. It was a great feeling and uh, an, an enjoyable day actually because, you know, we had a bit of banter and um, I think the other lads enjoyed it apart from the fact that they have to admit that I beat them, so it's been good. Great poker played there by the rugby boys. All close mates on and off the pitch, but Tigers on the poker table. Next week, it is the turn of the snooker players. But for now, it's Austin Healy, the first player onto the final table, flying the flag for rugby. Join us next time on the PartyPoker.net Sports Stars Challenge.